ER modeling versus dimensional modeling. Let's begin with the definitions. ER modeling, entity relationship modeling ER modeling is a data modeling technique primarily used in relational databases. It focuses on defining entities, real-world objects, and their relationships to each other. This model is highly normalized to reduce redundancy and improve data consistency in transactional systems. Dimensional modeling, dimensional modeling is a data modeling technique used in data warehouses to simplify complex queries in data retrieval. It organizes data into facts, measurable values, and dimensions, contextual attributes, to optimize reporting and analysis. This model is typically denormalized to improve query performance and readability. ER modeling. Purpose, it is used to model transactional databases where the focus is on real-time updates, insertions, and deletions. Structure, entities, attributes, and relationships form the core structure, defining how data is stored and interrelated. Normalization, highly normalized, meaning that data is split into smaller tables to avoid redundancy and ensure data consistency. Data volume, suitable for operational systems with frequent, real-time transactions, such as e-commerce systems. Query complexity, queries often involve multiple joins across several tables due to the normalized structure, making them complex and slower for analytical queries. Flexibility in querying, not ideal for analytical and aggregate queries because it requires complex joins and transformations. Focus, designed for efficient data management during daily operations like updating records and managing transactions. Primary users, typically used by staff managing daily operations, where real-time data consistency is essential. Data integrity, due to its normalized nature, ER modeling ensures strong data integrity by reducing redundancy. Schema design, typically represented by ER diagrams that map out entities and relationships between them. Dimensional modeling. Purpose, specifically designed for data warehouses where the focus is on analyzing historical data for decision-making purposes. Structure, organizes data into fact tables that store measurable data, facts, and dimension tables that provide context, time, location, etc. Normalization, denormalized structure to improve query performance, making it easier for analysts to retrieve and analyze data. Data volume, supports large volumes of historical and aggregated data often spanning several years. Query complexity, queries are simple and optimized because data is already aggregated and summarized in a way that minimizes the need for complex joins. Flexibility in querying, highly flexible for performing multidimensional analysis, such as slicing, dicing, and drilling down on data. Focus, the main focus is on simplifying data retrieval for reporting and analysis, often involving pre-aggregated data. Primary users, used by business analysts and decision makers who need to perform data analysis for strategic decisions. Data integrity, while data integrity is important, the focus is on providing fast query performance, even if it means some redundancy in the data. Schema design, uses either a star schema or snowflake schema, both of which are easy to navigate and optimized for querying large datasets.